Hello everybody. How we doing? How is the new year treating you? We've made it four days in. You guys look, I got two different, <laughs> two different hands going. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you why I've got two different hands going. So in Shannon's group, who is, Shannon's been my OG main stylist. She is doing a monthly color type challenge so what she did this month was that you took your open sets your um partials and either blindly picked in and grabbed out three or you know if you keep them in a binder like a lot of us do then you could have somebody else pick three for you what I did was, I know that I have about 120 pockets of partials, so I just had Willow pick three numbers between 1 and 120. And so what she came up with was, what she picked, the numbers gave me Rustworthy and Mint to Be, which I will not lie, this made me cry a little bit because, you know, you can't get this, it's a hard one to find anymore. And it's such a lovely, lovely color that I kind of didn't want to use it. Well, I don't think I would have ever chose to use it with Rustworthy to start with. But if that wasn't bad enough, her third pick <laughs> was the Snowman's. Oh my god. And this is like the worst. Um, so I was thinking about it. How I was going to go about it. Um, and I was actually talking to nail friend Angela. She was asking me about a different set she was working on. And I was, we were talking about the challenge set, you know, and the three random sets. And I said, oh, maybe I need to do a snowman forest. And so that's what I came upon. So I took one of the biggest thumbs of mint to be and cut out these little trees, but I cut off the, the stem of it so that I could use Rustworthy, which it only took one, one of the tiny pinkies, to cut these little teeny stems. And also with this one, I decided to do them facing out so that when I do my nail feel like this, you'll see the snowman and his little forest of trees. Now, I forgot I had to put the snowman on and screwed up and put a tree here, but I didn't like the positioning of this tree anyway, so it works out. I'll just cover him up. The, I wanted the trees more down that way, being I was, you know, doing them so that I could do my nail feel like this. So then what I did for the little snowman, um, I, I lowered him down to where I thought he would need to be, and I used the white part to trim to get the right hopefully get the right shape for this nail and hopefully <laughs> crap hopefully this works I kind of feel like I need to start it at the tip of my nail which means I'm gonna have some cleanup but I think it's okay I just want to make sure you get to see the whole you know, or the vast majority of the snowman. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And not even too much cleanup. Let me pull out a ibuprofen bottle to get higher up for you guys. So, um, the other thing I did with this hand in my little snowman forest was I, um, did northern lights top coat because i want the northern lights top coat sparkle to kind of be like you know like a little gentle snowstorm of sorts so i definitely got some edge cleanup but hopefully i can get it and the key is you guys when you have that bottom side edge cleanup don't let yourself what's the word don't get it too hard angles on your edges so like if you do wind up cutting something very you know hard angled try to soften it try to nip it a little bit and soften that up so it's not so 
dramatic. Okay, so there's that. Good. So now I've got an actual snowman force going. And I will clip a little more down there. So when I popped my nails off tonight, I um, did a load of cuticle care. And it, when you push everything back, you know, this soft part here. Oh, I can't think the name. Something fold. Something with a P fold. That will sneak back up on you because you're not, you know, that's not dead. That's live, of course. But the cuticle is the part that's on your nail, that kind of thin white layer. And you do want to get rid of as much of that as you can because it hinders your nails. And it looks nicer. Like, the cleaner you can get it. And the first few times, it might be a real pain in the hiney. But it does get better. So I did a load of cuticle work. And then I oiled the crap out of my nails and my hands. And just left it be for maybe an hour or two. And then I did a really good scrub with Dawn dish soap. Which gets rid of the oil that I, you know, the excess oil that I created. And then I did my Isle 21 peel off base coat. Let that set up. And quick dry glass shine top coat. Let that set up. And on my thumb, I did a couple layers of Northern Lights already because um, I'm going to make a cute little forest over there, hopefully. And so I do want it to be like, you know, a I want it to be a snowy forest. That's my idea. Okay. And I still will have a little bit of edge cleanup there in the morning. So there it is, and I never do things facing away from me, so this is probably going to drive me crazy, but it's okay. And the reason I'm doing two different things on two hands, you guys, is because these, I wanted to take part in the little challenges, but at the same time, I have winter sets that I really want to be using, and they're not these. So I was like, you know what, I'll do one on each hand, and then I can pop these off, and tomorrow I can do my actual my actual sets I was wanting to do. Okay, so let's finish up the snowman forest. So I've got all these little rust-worthy stems and then a bunch more little trees. I'll move these guys over. And, well, shoot, then I went the wrong way because that's on that thumb that I want to do that. And there's no magic to these little tree stems. I just cut a real thin strip and then just kept nipping them, nipped them down to being, you know, little squares and rectangles, basically. I don't know. That guy's static to me. So if he's still there tomorrow, I'll eat him for breakfast. Okay, so this guy's just his snowy thumb. One tree I cut in half. Oh, shoot. He's got to have... He's got to have a tiny little stem first. It's not a stem. A trunk. He's got to have his little tree trunk first. Okay. So that's there. And then and for the most part you guys, these were not very fidgety or fiddly because it was just doing one per thing one per finger but I knew I was going to make the thumb a hair more fiddly like it looks like there's a little half tree here now and we're going to trim the edge so he's just on the edge love it and then there's another little stem Oh, buckets. Dang it. You guys, I didn't face these out, which is fine because that won't even be in the, that won't be in the nail feet anyway. Poop. Okay. Over it. I'm already over it, you guys. I'm already over it. And then we need another little tree. Whoops, that one's blank. Well, dang it anyway. And on these, if I accidentally left a little, I'm just going to nip it right off. So 
See, I'm not, it's not in my mentality to work away from me, so. That one will fold over a little. So this one is getting more foresty. And the other hand I'm doing, so you know, I told you Mercy does a Pix a polish set to do in Color Street each month. Well, this month instead, if you said you would like to do it, she sent you your very own polish set. And I'm going to show you guys that when I get to that other hand. And so everybody has their own inspiration or anybody that was willing to try it <laughs> had their own inspiration. So then you show, when you're done, you show your inspiration and what you did. And people have been knocking it out of the park. It's kind of fun, you know, in these like, now that we're done with the holiday stuff, you know, just to get some, do some silly stuff. And then this one, so there he is. There's my little forest on my thumb. This one is going to be Northern Lights top coat because we need more snow in our snowy forest. And then after I take nail fees of these tomorrow, hopefully in the daylight, hopefully we have some sun, then I'm going to pop them off and tomorrow do an actual set I've been looking forward to doing. And not that these aren't fun and whatever, you guys. It's just that, you know, I did all the Christmas stuff. I did the New Year's stuff. I have all these sets in my head that I've been very excited to do and haven't got to do yet. So that's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now let me show you the inspiration. Marcy sent me. Here it is. So it was on black, well, I mean, it's nail polish for one. And it's like red, orange, orange, yellowish, greenish, bluish, and then over there into the purple. Okay, so here's what I did. I took out this set of Danelle's nails that I have that's like the rainbow plaid. Because first I was trying to get either all solids or all glitters of color street nails that I could use to do this and it's just not a thing you guys we can't we can't do it we don't have yellow glitter and then I was like well I could cut up some of my ombre strips and I'm like no it's just like it still just isn't quite right so then when I found this set remembered I had it I was like okay that's gonna be perfect and it is but it's a little bit sheer. So on black, the black darkened it too much, which you don't have that problem when you're doing the polish. But I had that problem doing these. So then I thought, well, maybe I'll just do them plain, like just on my nails, because that'd be an awesome look. But it, was, it wasn't amped up enough. So the only way to get the true color, you know, of what things are is to put white behind them like the white cardboard is. So I did white and, and I hate white. <laughs> I hate white as a full nail, you guys, whatever. It's okay, right? These are only, these are only going to be here a day. Okay. So then I went through these strips of Danelle's and I used these little cuticle scissors, um, just to start making loads of, you know, little shards. The, to me, these look like shards of glass, so that's where it was in my head, you guys, if you're wondering. So I made all these little shards from different portions of the nail to get the different colors. So we've got the red and then red-orange and then kind of orangey-yellow and then yellows and greens. And then I'm just starting this blue section. And so... Um, the only thing was, I mean, I'm not going to, probably not going to show my thumb in my nail feet anyway, so it will not matter, but you know what to do for the thumb. So I wound up just doing a whole finger and I love that set. I can't wait to actually use it, you know, 
in a different manner than this. So once I got all the shards cut, then it was just a matter of kind of doctoring them all together. And a lot of them I have kind of, you know, like hanging off the tip of my nail because then I'll nip that, but then that way it gives me different lengths down here. And this as a French tip, like not this color, but that style will be super fun and know that that is definitely coming up. That is going to be a French tip, a little glass shard French tip. But not in a rainbow of colors and it's going to be using color street more than likely. So easy peasy, right? Now I've got this little rainbow. And then the key for me for these, once I get this down, I'll show you. That one's got rosy fibers sticking out of it. Okay, so then what I did, little teeny pile of garbage here. And I've got my warming mat on, you guys. It's so stupid out right now. It was like a misty kind of thing going on. And now turning to snow and getting super cold. And so, of course, it's going to be like an icy crap show tomorrow. Because that's what they want to do to me this time of year. So, aren't these cute, though? I love them. The colors are fantastic. They're super, super vibrant. Okay, so now I take my little... Oh, my nips are really full of garbage because I've been nipping like a crazy lady today. There. All right. Let's take my nips and clean up these ends and the reason these will break with your nail you don't have to use nips but I'm nipping them because they're all little individual pieces that will easily get pulled off and ruckus up okay and then I think what does best with this is the OPI plumper Again, you could use the China Glaze Patent, but it has a little longer dry time, which I'm not a super fan of. But the plumper basically will just melt it all together really nice and make it be very cohesive instead of like all these little individual shards. I went into the doctor finally for my shoulder today, you guys because it will not give up hurting. And she did an x-ray. Nothing's broken or dislocated. Um, but she's guessing there's probably like a little tear in it. But insurances now kind of overall are like before you can have an MRI, you do your x-ray, then you do some physical therapy. Then the physical therapist can recommend you over if they think you need it. So, physical therapy, I gotta set up appointments for that tomorrow. And then, um, if he can't get it sorted, which hopefully he can just get it sorted with physical therapy, you guys, that'd be great. Um, or she, he or she, hopefully they can get it sorted. If they can't, then they'll do an MRI and see if there's like a little tear in there or whatever. But all I know is it's been almost a month now. It still hurts like heck, so I'll be glad to get it sorted. Okay, so there's that. There's those. So these are the competition ones. Well, not competition. These are just a just for fun kind of thing where Mars picks them out every month. Well, or picks out a set, not necessarily everybody their own like this month. Okay, and then these are, I really love that little forest with multiple trees. That's cute. And then these will be cute this way. Okay, so also, while I'm here, I made myself a note, you guys. 
of all the things we should discuss. We should discuss Valentine's Day. If you haven't seen the stylist bundle, check my Facebook page because I have it on there. Uh, we weren't super impressed as a whole. Like, everybody that did comment on there already, we were all kind of like, eh. And then some people were saying that there was going to be more released, but apparently it's confirmed that no, it's only those five sets. So, um, like, left to right, the one is the glitter, glitter overlay, and it's like a, um, a red and maybe some purple and raspberry color uh, glitter dip, which, you know, I'm always on for more glitter dips because I think they can really add, you know, they can add any overlay, whether it's a glitter dip or like a printed overlay, that is the fastest way to turn your mani, like in your own mani, right? And you know, if the guy beside you is wearing, um, Belgian buttercup and you're wearing Belgian buttercup, but your Belgian buttercup has, you know, plaid about you or polka dot com or between the lines or whatever over it, yours is going to be a little snazzier. That's all. It's just a good way to make it your own. Um, and then the next one after that is called heartthrob and it's like a salmon pink with red hearts, like double lined hearts stamped all over. The middle one is called Cherry Float, which is like a cherry red glitter girl on it. Guarantee that'll be my hoard set because we need more like solid red glitters. Um, X's and O's is like a very bright pink magenta-ish with the, um, I can't tell if it's like a black glitter maybe it might be and the last one <coughs> one sec queen of hearts and that's like the sh soft shimmer pink with red hearts and swirls on it overall I was not impressed uh, I thought there was going to be more. <laughs> there's not. Unless there's a surprise coming. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Let's see. And. Okay. I had to pause a second and blow my nose because it was, you know, irritating me. I didn't want to do that to you guys. <laughs> okay, so overall, the Valentine's Day bundles uh, bundle was pretty lackluster to me. Some of the stylists I were talking to said they weren't even going to bother ordering it because, you know, a few of the sets they were after, but as a whole, they didn't want all of them. Um... Most of the gals were in agreement that Love Shack and Cherry Float, which is the overlay in very red glitter, were going to be good. And the rest were a little, you know, so-so at best. Um, there were a couple that were hot after the X's and O's, which is the bright pink with the glitter. And personally, I'm just going to have to see that one to know what I think of it. I guess I don't feel like I would probably wear it much. When I wear the pinks, I tend to wear them with something. And, um, you know, I don't know that the pink with a lot of glitter. Like, I love Are You Me Dritting Me and um, a few others that are really nice and bright like that. But I like them to go with other things, like to be accents to stuff. So I don't know that this one's going to be right for me, but I'll look at it and see. And then, today you guys, I got good nail mail. So this is from Frills and Thrills. Have a ball. And it's the navy glitter with the holographic. Super sparse, super lovely. I was way happy with it. I can't wait to play with those. Okay, I got three of those because that 
felt right to me because when I order sets I figure each one will do three things three mannings out of them so that's nine that should be okay right what do you guys think should I order more oh my god now I'm second guessing myself okay this is a fancy pants and you can tell it's tinted that the base is tinted a light pink and then it's got the pink glitter in it and the tiny pink glitters it's lovely to me again it's a lot like peppercorns with less peppers or less corns just more sparse lovely love it and then my favorite raise the roof so so good I am loving that one and I got four of them which I'm unsure that's plenty but we'll see um, the fancy pants I only felt like I needed one because I also have a peppercorn and I also have a wannabe which I mean I'm not gonna say they're interchangeable because those of us that love the glitter overlays will confirm that they're three very different things they're gonna have three very different uses but I felt like between the three different kinds of them it was plenty for me and then this was out of the stash group <laughs> I didn't order this when it was current I was sick of the turkeys you guys which I still am I know I said that this year but if they're gonna keep giving them to them giving them to me I would prefer to have um, like a glitter turkey right instead of that same kind of tannish like every year it's the same like it's the gratitude is everything style based and then some different form of turkeys going on right it's fine if they're not going to ask us so that we can suggest things like a cornucopia or I don't know what I just feel like we would have better ideas put more pumpkins and gourds oh my gosh make a gourd overlay fa that would be lovely if you're asking what we would like to see but I just feel like there's more to do than just turkeys except we just keep getting turkeys so it is what it is right um I know there's a lot of changes coming to the CS stuff for the stylus so we'll have to wait to hear about that because it'll get talked about um there's a lot more stylists who are kind of throwing in the towel and not super happy with how things are going and I know that's gonna be to each their own of course you know everybody's gonna feel different about the changes and that kind of thing and um, it's hard because I feel like when things you know when an MLM gets a little bigger they start to make changes and I guess kind of not always in the favor of the gals that you know are selling this stuff right but it is what it is and hopefully I don't like the white but the tips are lovely and I can't wait now to do an actual you know like glass shard look for you guys so have a good one guys talk to you soon